Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my co-host, Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And we're talking this week to Dan Richards at Remax Northwest up in Seattle. Thank you so much, Dan, for stopping by. Absolutely. Hey, now before we get started... We, you know, again, we, we, I, I'm just interested in Seattle. Triggers me to think about coffee, Seattle's best coffee, and another big company it begins with an S like Superman. Um, what's in your mug today, Jim Meyer? I've got some really good coffee. It is so good. Congress is now uh, investigating and might impeach it. That's how good it is. Dan, thank you so much. Interest rates have been going crazy. Uh, if I wanted to move to Seattle right now, shouldn't I wait until rates go down? Yeah, it's a great question. It's one that uh, is probably being faced everywhere, but I'm going to apply it specifically to this area. So here's what I foresee is going to come up over the course of the next year. And it's hard to know exactly the timing. So that's the part where we're all looking at our crystal ball. But what's going to happen when interest rates really drop in our area is that we've got a whole pool of people sitting on the sidelines that are going to suddenly come back into play. At the same time, we are not going to have inventory probably much better than we have right at the moment because we have so many people locked in at a low interest rate. It's going to be difficult to get people to be willing to sell in enough numbers to help us get our inventory up. So when interest rates come down, what I foresee happening is that we could have a jump up maybe the spike, but probably just to jump up in prices. So if someone can get in before that, if they can lock in a price, the great thing about their financing is they can always refinance to a lower interest rate. So if they can get today's pricing and then refi into tomorrow's interest rate, they'll end up getting the best of both worlds. Yeah. And, and I've tried to explain that to, to people. And some people just, they just follow the leader and they don't get it. This could be the absolute perfect time to buy a house. Jim T. Chung, take us home with the final question of the day. Yeah, well, one question. I mean, we obviously have an interest in what we were talking about. Okay, I just had to throw that in there. Double play. But, <laughs> um, you know, I really think that this is a, a great time and season for homes. In terms of the value of homes right there, um, do you see um, home prices going up or down, you know, over in the foreseeable future? Now, I think it may be an obvious answer, but maybe not so much in Seattle. Yeah, no, here, and I, and I think this is probably true where you guys are too. When interest rates really jacked up last spring, we all were bracing ourselves that home prices were just going to, you know, start to tumble and continue to tumble but that's really not what happened. We had a little bit of an adjustment of price and then it's been pretty much flat since then. So at a period when it would have been the most likely scenario for prices to go down, really they've stayed stable. When interest rates come down and now that's looking you know, more and more likely that will happen next year and it could very much happen somewhere the first half of next year, we are primed to have this rush of buyers and for our prices to get pushed up. How much? I don't know how to predict at this point, but I just don't see any other scenario that makes sense to me. So how are prices going to do? They're most likely going to go up. Okay, true or false question for you, Dan, real quick. If you're in Seattle, you should look up Dan, at least see if you're in his general area to use him as a realtor. And if you're in California, you should absolutely use Jim Meyer as well, who has also had a lot of experience in real estate. True or false, Dan? Yeah, I'm going to take a reach on this one and go with true. <laughs> hey. All right. Well, hey, winner, winner, <laughs> dog dinner. That's for the Asian community. Okay. Go for and, it. <laughs> and everybody out there, if you have a small business like a restaurant or a bar that's struggling and you want to get more more uh, boots in the door or uh, what would you say? More bodies in the door, call Jim T. Chong. He's got some exciting ideas and ways of getting you 
more business. You're going to be glad that you called him. Uh, Dan, will you come back tomorrow? Let's talk about, uh, let's just say if I, if I owned a home in Seattle and I'm ready to put it on the market, let's talk tomorrow about what you're going to do. Am I, is that a good question to ask you? Sounds good. I'll see okay. you then. See you guys later.